Prevén. Gustavo en María. Hello, teacher. Hey, sir. How's it going? Very good. I'm a little bit tired. Well, okay. A lot tired. Really. <laughs> it was a busy Monday. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because yesterday I don't sleep. You didn't sleep yesterday? I, I didn't sleep, sorry. I didn't sleep because uh, my dog in the midnight uh, fight with the cat. Oh, so man. I um, um, try to, to, my dog don't kill the, the cat. So after that, I... I and the, the cat is yours? No, no, no. The cat is... is it was a street cat. A street cat, exactly. Ah. But he, he's, he fall down in, in the house. Oh, man. My dog is a people, so wow! I almost killed the the the, the cat. What an issue! Yeah. So after that, I didn't sleep anything. Uh, I'm I'm give up three three a.m. without sleep, and I take the car to San Salvador. Uh huh. I'm staying in the office of. At uh, five thirty in the morning, <laughs> I'm trying to sleep a little bit in the car <laughs> out, uh, out of the, my office. Oh man! <laughs> yeah. But, so. so you took the, the cat to a veterinarian, I guess. Uh, yeah, my dad. My dad being there. Mm -hmm. So it's it's okay in the end. You could save the cat <laughs> or not? Yeah, but it's um. Uh, with a broken leg. Oh. Yep. 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 And need a, I would say, sutura. Stitch. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, at least you were the superhero for that cat. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 It's, it's a shame, right? That that they don't get along well. Yeah. If the cat lived in the house, that would be different, but it's a stranger for, for your dog. It's so. a stranger. Mm -hmm. So you, what you do, what do you do in the weekend? What did I do on my weekend? I stay home most of the time. I would say that I just went out to visit a relative um and i was doing a, a lot of um house let's say improvements trying to work a little bit as a gardener as a as a mason doing a little bit of everything so it was not so um restful but at least i i could sleep a little bit more than usual on saturday mm -hmm. it's nice <laughs> yeah and yeah, it was a good weekend, but busy. Nice. Okay, uh, Diana, Fabio, Blanca, and Flor, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing, guys? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Um, doing great, good evening, I Michael. think. <laughs> Great, Hello. you think you're not sure. <laughs> okay. I'm not in home yet, so. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So you will be getting home later, I guess. In a few minutes, maybe. I'm doing some shopping. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So, but you're not driving right now. No, right now, no, but in a few minutes, I will. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Jackie. Thank you so much, teacher. And Freddy's. Good evening. Good evening. It just started raining in Samuel. What about there? Here is just cloudy. Cloudy, okay. 
Now over here it was, uh, I mean, it was really hot all weekend, all weekend, and today was really hot. So, yeah, today here was really hot. It was like, like um, holiday season in in April. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it felt like that. I had to drink a lot of water because I felt that my kidneys were getting boiled. <laughs> yeah. Not a good feeling. <laughs> no, and the fun, uh, it's like, uh, it's not working as I would like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, I mean, the, the, the wind is hot, so it doesn't really. Yeah, it's really... hot and and you wish could could be cooler. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. But it is what it is. <laughs> so uh, there are some things that we cannot change. And well, we're going to get started uh, with today's session. Welcome everybody. It's a pleasure to start one new week. We are not finishing the week of the curse. We are, I mean, we're not beginning a week of the curse. We're beginning a, a, a week uh, on the calendar, right? Because uh, for regarding the curse, that would be the session 18. So we are missing two more sessions to finish the week number four. And uh, that would be on Wednesday. And next Wednesday, we are finishing the whole curse. So, um, that's more or less for you to think right about where we are and where we're going. Okay, good to see you again. I see Mariela, I see Francisco, Rolando, and Diana. Hello, hello. High five. Hello, oh, good evening. Oh, this is a sign that I was working. <laughs> I have like a little um, blister on my hand. Um, so, it's been a long time. I I I didn't use a shovel. <laughs> so let's see who else is here. Arvin, Janari, Francisco. You want to say something? Uh, sorry, teacher. I Juan Jose, welcome. Teacher. Hello. Oh, hello. Yes, I can hear you, Francisco. Can you hear me? Teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. I, I think that I have a problem with my... One, two, yeah, I three. think it's Francisco's internet because ah. I can hear you well. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. Thanks. So it's maybe the internet or uh, the microphone. Okay, let me check, here it is. Okay, so welcome to the Motivation Monday. So we're going to get started with the attendance. So Beatriz, not here yet, I think. No, so we'll continue with Mariela. Present. Thank you, Blanca. I'm here. Uh, Brenda is not here. We we'll continue with Diana. I'm here. Floor. I'm here, teacher. I almost get my home. Okay, okay. Francisco is there. I'm here, has... teacher. Okay, perfect. Now I, you can hear me. I turn off my camera because I don't know if my internet is the problem mm -hmm. maybe it might be um so let's check Redis. i'm here teacher i'm almost finished eating okay bon appetit laura Thanks. jackie i'm here arvin hello teacher present jennifer i'm here teacher Okay, Juan Jose. 
Mr. Avalas, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, perfect. I'm here. Gustavo? Yes, I'm here. Okay, uh, we have Eugenia, Miguel Angel, not here yet. Fabio? I'm here. Rolando? I'm here. Yanari? I'm here, teacher. Roxana? Nope. Okay, not here yet, but hopefully she will be here soon. Okay, guys, so as it is uh, the motivation Monday and we have the, it's the first session of the week. Okay, I'm going to catch you up with what we're going to be doing this evening. Okay, so here is the screen. So in today's session, the main topic is indirect questions with information questions, okay? So um, what are we doing today? We are uh, going to review the previous class. As you remember, there is something that you were working on uh, and I'm going to give you the time to finish. Um, we're going to have the weekend talk. We, today is a motivation Monday. So we're going to have a specific topic and um, to get motivation or to talk about motivation and the use, right? I mean, direct questions uh, through a conversation, okay? So we're going to focus on a conversation today and tomorrow we're going to be working a little bit more on the structure, analyzing, working on exercises and practicing. And that's it. So, um, I am going to start, okay, by sending you to the breakout rooms where you are going to have the chance to talk about two topics, okay? Quickly, just to catch up about how you're feeling, how your weekend was, and then you are going to talk about something related to motivation. In this case, I need you to uh, answer two questions in one, okay? So the first question is, who is someone that that you see uh well that you look up to someone that you look up to look up to someone it's to admire right someone that you admire uh, it can be someone in your family or it can be someone famous right and the reason why okay because sometimes people are the motivation that we have and second is the, the second question is what motivates you? What motivates you to continue going, to continue learning, to continue working, to uh, continue wanting to improve, right? To grow. Um, so what is, what is that one thing, right? That motivates you to go on, okay? So um, everybody has motivation, right? Uh, so that's what you're going to be sharing in the breakout rooms. And basically that's it. I am going to give you enough time because you're going to be in small breaker rooms so everybody can speak and you will have exactly, let me check, seven minutes, okay? Seven minutes beginning since the moment that you enter the breaker rooms. Uh, is everything clear? Yeah. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, so what are the three questions that you're going to be discussing or the three topics that you're going to be discussing? What motivates, motivates you to continue learning English? Mm, no, <laughs> not to continue learning English, to continue go, moving forward, to continue oh. learning, growing, <laughs> improving, working, looking for opportunities, right? What motivates you? Um uh, and who is someone that you admire? Someone, you admire. Uh, uh. someone that you admire a lot. That's correct. And the other question is at the beginning is just like, how are you doing? How was your weekend? Good, everything great. If there is something relevant, something cool, something important that you want to share, you can do it. Okay. If not, just mention, just ask a question, how are you feeling today? How was your weekend? And then you are going to express 
your uh, opinions, right? So uh, you will have seven minutes and the time begins since the moment that you enter the breakout rooms. Okay, let me check. Okay, here we go. One, two, three is complete. One, two, three. Yes, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. And I'm going to move you to the breakout room number one. So it's complete. Okay, perfect. So we're ready to go. Welcome, Miguel and Beatriz. I see that you are here with us thank, now. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. You're welcome. Okay, so your time begins. Well, you, you can answer the breakout rooms now. Gra Graba you, Miguel Angel. Hi, guys. Good evening. Well, and Good my, evening. my last weekend, I just uh, worked for a little, little time. Um, on Sunday, I, I go, we went with my family uh, to the beach, uh, is Costa del Sol Beach. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. And I, I stay for around six hours in the place. It, um, it's, it's a funny place. Uh, we enjoy it with my family. And, and then I arrive um, our home around 3 p.m. I think, uh, right. and this is my my last weekend. is is simple. I have uh, never been to La Costa del Sol, so <laughs> yes, yeah. it's a it's a wonderful place. It's, okay. I rec I recommend you. Thank you. Go there, okay. <laughs> I will one day. Okay, thank you. And when was you prepared to to, to take us? Well, we was spy person in that in that there. Mm, okay. And you? Well. My motivation for con continue. Well, I like learn. I like. Uh, I like how I like always have to do. I think that in all my life, I always try to find uh, activities uh, for for learn for make something or do something yeah i like this i think that this is my essential <laughs> yeah your 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 essence my essence yeah okay to yeah. always look to for something to do yes yes yeah okay if you see i am 46 years old and i think that never is late for learn something for learning something now, it's yeah. never too late. Yeah, and I don't know. I think this this is my my motivation. Okay, and, and, Laura is and, coming, so you can catch her up. Hi, hi, Laura. Yes, my last boss. Mm -hmm. uh, because why? Uh, uh -huh. 
uh, I don't know. He he is a wonderful person. Mm -hmm. Um, because he's not a person to. But one of them is my mom because I consider her like a strong woman. Even when his her life has not been easy, she is a really strong woman, and she is all the time motivating me to keeping growing up as a professional because I want to give them a better life, and I want to give to my sister all the things that I couldn't have when I was a teenager. And I also, I want to, to grow up as a professional because I want to help more my family. That includes my cousin because she's like my sister because she cared, uh, she cared and she looked after when I was a kid because my mom couldn't because she was working. So she's okay. like an like an older like an older sister, right? Yes. For you. Nice. And, and she that I'm the only sister that she has because I'm all the time supporting when she needs. What happened to your dad? Ah, okay. Okay, that's good. And, and how old is he? He's 12. Okay. Okay, 12 perfect. Years old. Well, for me, my motivation in my life, uh, there are uh, many things, but the uh, important is uh, my family and my daughter. Um, she has uh, 13 years old. Um, oh, she yeah, Yes, these are uh, this, um, uh, young people. And I... He's a teenager. <laughs> yes, he's a teenager. Yes, this is the correct word. Um, another thing, uh, you always try to try to to follow the same step that your parents, your father and mother. Yeah. 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 Right now, uh, you la you have your mother next to you. Yes. Yeah, and this 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 example is every day. But when you're when you're out to your house. I guess that you don't, don't have your mother near more time, yeah, because you will have a your wife. Yeah, in, in, in this case, you will be the person that another person admire. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This, this has to be one motivator. So, <laughs> okay. for example, some years ago, when I lived in another place, not the same place that I live now. Uh, I live close to her, but not in the same property that okay. right now. And always when I have a, a doubt, when I have a problem, always I have to, to have a conversation with her. And have, I, I always look to the time or take a couple of, of tea or coffee and have a good conversation with her because she always have the, the answer for every problem that we, we have. Almost 12 episodes in row. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was finished to watch uh, at 3 a.m. And yesterday when I woke up, I don't want to see more the drama Any class, uh, teach me math teach me math i admire you i i learned so much with with him 
Okay. I admire it so much because it, he she, he teach me English in a basic mm -hmm. and math. An excellent teacher. Mm, okay. Um, I don't remember a, a specific a teacher. Um, but I remember that I have two teachers that that what that wanted to adopt me, <laughs> <laughs> and for real, they asked to my father if uh, she, they say like, uh, she's a very good student. I don't know. I don't have kids, and she's so. That the attitude can change a lot of things. That's what I think. How about you, Gustavo? Um, I'm all the, I'm all the time a uh, thankful person for all the things that good God gives to me. I think we know we, we need to come back to the to the main yeah you got some seconds yeah left I can I can answer three two one go <laughs> nah, you can answer <laughs> well um I, I I'm surprised about the, the what Jennifer says and I'm uh I don't know if, if, if the word is appreciate, but I'm, I'm, Valoro? What is that? The, no, I, I'm Valoro. No, I don't have a complaint about the, 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 the explanation about the, Jennifer says, uh, I'm, I agree with her. And sometimes, uh, I value. I value, yeah, exactly. Um, Sometimes uh, the the person needs a uh, belief in in someone that is the, the creator because in, in in my case in my specifically case uh, I I I have um, an accident uh, for uh, many years ago and all the people say oh no Gustavo gonna die no. And in the end, I'm surviving, and I believe in this, in this kind of thing. For that, I, I value the, the, what Jennifer says. Nice. Okay, so we're back. I think everybody's here. Yes. Laura, be careful, please. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, I'm not sure if I have ever started a class or been in a class when I, while I was driving. Not sure. But I think I, I, I had a similar experience. Now, we're going to, get, uh, to move on. I heard most of you in the breakout rooms and it was nice to to hear right the the motivations that you have or the people that you have uh that you admire right in your life because in the end uh we're all humans and that's something that we have in common right things that motivate us people who motivate us and um when it was uh, i hope that it was something that made you feel well right to remember uh, someone in particular who was an inspiration for you or uh, or who is an inspiration for you and also uh, what is that motivation that you have or what is that something that motivates you to to be here to continue learning to continue working because sometimes uh, i mean we lose motivation right in, in the way uh, especially when we're tired or when things don't go so well but then we remember, I have to pay the bills and I have to eat. 
and I have a family. So <laughs> that's like, like a very uh, strong motivation that we have, right? It's like, um, there are some jokes about that, but I don't remember them really well. So uh, that was part of the Motivation Monday. Right now, we're going to do two things. First of all, uh, remember that last class, in the last class, I'm going to share the screen one more time. In the last class, we were working in, oh, I think I didn't mention the, the finalists of the spelling bee. Did I? Yes or no? No, you don't mention it. I didn't mention it. Okay. Wait a second. So uh, that was something that we're doing. I remember that I wrote down the names in the document, but I don't remember which document. So when I find it, I will let you know. And so we had the 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 group work as you can see here uh, so you had to prepare a presentation uh, you started working you didn't finish because there was not enough time right uh, so you focus on the on the product description that you worked on on the unit number one that you wrote in unit number one and you made a, a list of characteristics or features as a specific in detail as possible characteristics of your product right and then you had the brainstorming the materials that you needed to create the prototype because we have been working on prototype right and then list the benefits of building a prototype of your new product so that was what we were doing last time and um the, the relevant, the most relevant to the least relevant reasons of creating a prototype. We also discussed that. So I am going to send you to the breakout rooms with your team, okay? And you will have exactly 10 minutes to work on, on the information that you already have, okay? And um, just in case you need some extra time, I will give you two more minutes. And then we're going to come back and listen to the presentation of one person, okay? It can be one or two people maximum, not everybody in the team because of time, okay? So you're going to present the benefits, the advantages, right? Uh, well, the, the materials, sorry, the characteristics and the materials that you're going to need for your prototype, right? Um, that's it some characteristics that the majority of the groups already have them so it's going to be a piece of cake and that's it's time to work okay so uh let's create the breakout rooms but in this case um i'm going to start with a quaternary pneumonian that would be the first one the most scientific of all the products here so we have rolando in the first one, we had, let me check. I think it was Jennifer. Jarvin, Brenda, Jarvin. Diego, Mariela. And Mariela. Okay, then uh, we'll continue with the other one that it's a little bit different to the, to the other two teams and it's Sunshine. So um, Sunshine, I think it was Beatriz, you were in that team, right? Beatriz, Floor, if I'm not yes. mistaken. Okay, who else? Gustavo. Gustavo. And Laura, I think. Laura. Anybody Hi, teacher. Else? Okay. Hi, I, I am just uh, coming to my residence. But okay. I can now in my home. Okay, excellent. Thank you for letting letting us know. Thank and you. the team three, we're going to leave uh find your pet. That would be Blanca. Uh, I think Fabio was in this team. 
No. no. Eh, Diana, no, Francisco, that... Miguel Ángel, and Juan José. Juan José, Miguel Ángel. Okay. So that means that in the... Francisco. Yeah, Francisco too. Okay, got it. Yeah. So Brenda, Freddy, Jackie, uh, Fabio, you are part of the pet lovers, right? That's right. Okay, so we're all set. Ready? Any questions? Emilio, question? Yes. Uh, okay, do we have to present a PowerPoint or something? Uh, okay, that's a good question. Uh, yeah, you can use a PowerPoint, you can use a Word document, you can use a PDF, whatever you want to use in order uh, to project right or to share on the screen so that your classmates can read what you are explaining, right? So that can be a good option, okay? You can use PowerPoint, you can use Word or any other uh, app or tool to present the information. And yes, you have 10 minutes. Ready, set, and go. If you have a question, remember that you can ask for help so I can go to your broker room and help you out with something. Okay, here we go. I set the invitation. Don't forget to choose the, the volunteers to present. Yanari, welcome. You had some connection problems, right? Hello, hello. Teacher, I don't receive the invitation. You didn't receive it. Uh, let me send it again. But yeah, you were supposed to be in the breakout room number two. Let me check. Number three. Yanari and Brenda, can you hear me? Hello, hello, sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to ask if Yanari was part of your group or your team, sorry. No, teacher, Yanari oh. is not here. No, I mean, if, yeah, the thing- In this group. In this in this team, okay, got it. Yeah, in this team. Well, she lost a connection again. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, pictures. Can okay. you see the pictures? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I have some experience. Uh, Francisco and Juan Jose. Maybe uh, the material is like to cotton or cotton. Algodon. Yeah. A class of, of cotton. I think okay. it cannot be cotton. <clears throat> yeah, because I, we need sorry, a, cotton. Cotton. White color, coron. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes, just yes. wanted to ask if Janari was part of your team. Sorry, teacher. Just wanted to ask if Janari was part of your team. No. 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 Okay, so she's with the other. No. With the pet lovers. See you later. What that did the teacher say? <laughs> of create a prototype. The streets, not threads. The benefits of building a prototype for your product, right? Uh huh. What are the benefits? And you're yeah. also going to ah, uh, that's right. Not the benefits of the app. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean your your product. I mean, that's right. The um, app is your product. So right. what are the benefits of creating a, yes. a prototype for your product? 
So, uh, guys, is Yanari in your team by any chance? Yes, and Roxana. Yes, and Roxana. Yeah, I don't know what happened with Roxana. I'm gonna check if she sent a message to the WhatsApp group or something. For so, us, teacher, in so the materials good. needed for creating the the prototype, mm -hmm. like as we don't have really the knowledge of create a software, <laughs> we have we have put a we have um, we put hire an app development team or make use of an app building software that can help you with the. With, the, with your needs to delineate your servers, APIs, and data diagrams, because we we don't have the knowledge of really <laughs> mm -hmm. implement that. Okay. And we have been seeing some apps that can help or guide or guide us to do that thing. So. Excellent. We also have. We also put as material the money because we will hire a development team or bring a software that help us doing that. We we need money. To... <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. Um, however, I don't think that you need that much money. Maybe for the servers, but maybe for the servers. Uh -huh. And the software developers. True. And okay. that maybe some designer to help us make some make some designs in the app, the logo. Or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can consider that too. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Later. Hello, ready. In the benefits, what do you say uh, we need to put? Benefits of creating a prototype for your product. Okay. Uh, advantage and features about that. Okay, I understand. Yeah, Floor is going to going to share the screen about that. Okay. But Floor is oh, okay. I see. Yeah, Flor Flor is preparing the the presentation. Okay. I will try to connect with the computer for mass facility. Okay. Do it. I see. Okay. With the uh, with the cell phone, not this, not this. Yeah, it's a little difficult with the cell phone, but sometimes it's very useful. <laughs> yeah. When I'm driving. <laughs> yeah. When, <laughs> when I'm driving. Yeah, because you always had the opportunity to to listen the the class. Yeah. Exactly. Hi, teacher. Hello, Laura. <laughs> it's good to see you at home. <laughs> I running uh, so fast for staying in the class. <laughs> wow. No, I will. I will feel guilty. So don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> Now you have to put safety first, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Man, uh, I will out this room because I want to connect with the computer. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, give me uh, one minute, please. I will, add, you. I will add you to the, to the room, no problem. Okay, thank you. 
Hello. Hi, Flor. Flor. I go. I, I am on my cell phone, but I'm going to to send you in a message the the presentation. And I don't know if you can put in a page, Beatriz, because you are in the computer, right? Yes, and I'm in the computer. Okay, let me send, send by the chat. So you're you're almost done, right? Um, so so. I welcome. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I'm with the microphone. On. <laughs> yeah, interesting, man. <laughs> Oops. He's getting some motivation through music. You see? <laughs> oh. Teacher, when 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 you when we say make the list of future as specific and detailed as possible, it means that you talk about uh, the ingredient that have the the product. Make the list of the features, the characteristics. Uh, I mean. For example, you can say that one of the characteristics of your of your product is that it comes in different fragrances, and you mentioned the fragrances, right? Mm -hmm. Then you can also say that it comes in different presentations, this and this mm -hmm. and this and that. And the prices, um, those are some characteristics. Uh, another feature is that it can be used, uh, for example, uh, for the body, for your hands. So mm. those are specific characteristics of the product. Mm. Mm -hmm. ah. And, and uh, the another question is the material that we need to make the, uh, the product, prototype. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and the benefits. <sighs> okay. Okay, the teacher. Benefits. That's right. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Okay, okay. Yes. Uh, for example, uh, you don't know where is your pet in this moment. And you put, you find in your phone. And in that moment, you can identify where your pet is. And not necessarily uh, another, uh, or the, um, in the neck of the dog or the cat. Mm -hmm. um, find it through the app only. Yes, but, uh, it's, it's like to if you put the 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 name the, the, the pet in the necklace or no? Yes. Um, an example. I going uh, because I don't I don't also understand um the app for to find the dog for example if you want to find an address mm -hmm. uh, you put the are you done almost almost como se dice tom en inglés we already have some Here features materials Benefits. <laughs> How, uh, who's going to be the volunteer? We are thinking in someone like Freddy's still is uh, exposing or or the features, me the materials, and Jacqueline the benefits. Okay, sounds good. Uh, one second. Yeah. 
well, this is, what is that hell way? Hell, hell them well. What is that? What? Hell them well. Hell them well. What is that? What, what is it, that bar? And the, and number three, the, the, the right. And can be used by an app. The chip is going to have a unique serial number that can be the way to rastreate your pet. It, it will be a, uh, well, in Korea, they have a, you, you can introduce the number of, of your girlfriend or boyfriend in your in the app of restraint the the people and well I, I will I, I seen that in drama on dramas but when the girlfriend is lost uh, they only search and the on the map and on the GPS and then ca they can find the the right ubication, I think. I don't know if I explained that well, or you don't understand me. But yes, yes, I, I understand. I, I understand. Clear. Yeah, that was the main idea of the Friday class. Yeah. In, in, in this moment, in this moment, exists some um, coordinated geographic that you only put in your phone, the coordinate, and the mm -hmm. phone um, find. Uh, the direction that you need in this moment mm -hmm. exists but are like a gpas for example uh, but yeah. in this case we need to put i don't know if the one coordinated geographic coordinated i don't know uh, one chip one number um, i don't know but i think that we don't know we don't need some materials only the neck. <laughs> I know. What? use <laughs> and get other. Easy to find. Uh... Uh, that can can be used in different. Yeah. Surface, surface. Surface. I will put. Teacher, please give us 10 minutes more. We are quick. 10 minutes more? No, three <laughs> minutes. Oh, three. Yes, teacher. Yeah, it's two okay. minutes plus one minute that you have when the rooms are getting close. Oh, teacher. Please. <laughs> okay, start with another release. Kill okay. bacteria. What is bacteria? I will. <laughs> bacteria. You're using translate. Can't believe it. Yes, teacher. It's a difficult word. Actually, bacteria. Bacteria is. Bacteria. Uh, it's a uh, it's plural, and the singular mm. is bacterium. Bacterium. Uh huh. Bacterium. Uh, bacterium. Uh, bacterium. And virus. Yeah, and COVID. Including SARS. No, no se pone. Oh, COVID. No, se, no, no se pone. No. It's, no. It's, okay. it's not correct. <laughs> okay, um, here. Materials needed. Gallon pot, cattle, and a sticker. The address and the, the password. Right. Okay. Do you right. agree if, if we if well we make, a, 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 make a list of that? 
Stephanie? Diana? Yeah, I have a list. Uh, the first one is a greater user satisfaction uh, with the final product uh, because customers are actively involved during the prototyping and creation process. Um, the second one, sa savings in the time and in the and, and money and your budget because prototyping generates early feedback from customers. Uh, it's possible to make change quickly and adapt uh, those changes in, in the better version of our product. The third one is that avoid discussions and rework in the equipment because uh, if we don't make the, the prototyping, we have to, uh, after the launch product in the market, we have to do a lot of version or we have to take off of the stock uh, our product. And that, that, that can be very complicated for, for Stephanie? Is it okay, Flo? Did you choose who's going to present? Just, just, uh, we need to finish the last part, teacher, but it's short because are the benefit to building a prototype? Okay, okay. The app, I would say uh, what we need to start, we need to have already what we want as an app. We need to build an app wireframe and this is a digital sketch of the app and saying all the other four. And in the final, Jacqueline, I don't know if you want to practice in this last 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, practice. Let me see benefits. Where are benefits for creating a prototype for a product? Number one, mobile app prototyping validates an early concept and provide opportunities for the exploration of, uh, of new ideas early. And number two, it helps eliminate, eliminate misunderstandings and miscommunication during the develop, development, develop, development process. Number three, helps identify possible improvements to make be make uh, make if make sure if the product is functional the performance of the product maybe is better okay uh, what else um, the uh, uh, com comprobar la imagen o sea el cómo se ve el producto ¿Cómo sería? how do you say that Verify the <laughs> check the uh, presentation. Uh, uh -huh. The final version, maybe, mm. of the product. Yeah, and and The reaction of the customers, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Um, uh, it could be. I think that only only this. But um, we have more in the manual. You will explain this, Roland. Me? Yes, because you know the truth. 
I know the bacteria. That. Bacteria is plural. So yeah. Bacteria yes. and viruses. Uh-huh. There you go. Can be yes. Okay. Mm. Okay. Different face. We finally. <laughs> I, I will try to do it better. Okay. If we are not the first one. Very nice, Jenny. Okay. Thanks for fingering three and three and four the, of the benefits. You can change the verb. Three uh, and four. Yeah, so you see that yeah. you can verify the reaction or you can see the reaction and you can analyze the product, right? Uh, analyze, the final, um, analyze the final version. Uh -huh. the Thanks. Okay, so now is the moment of truth. So I only see Rolando, uh, Fabio, Flor, and Jackie. Who's who's going to be the, the, the presenter of, of each of your groups? Let's go with Rolando's first. Uh, Rolando, who, who is the chosen one or who are the chosen ones in your team? Jenny will show Rolando. Them. No, yeah, <laughs> I will volunteer. I will explain, but Jenny showed the the presentation. Ah, okay, got it. <laughs> but see, he's a gentleman. <laughs> we are the first teacher? Yep. Really? Yes. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, please. Yeah, the second one is uh, the um, sunshine. The third one is find your pet. And the last one is the pet lovers. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, everybody. Right now, we are development of prototype from quaternary ammonium. That this is our product, quaternary ammonium. Yeah, uh, first of all, I will talk about to the list of feature and specification to this product. Um, we try to have a product with good smell and that kill the kill bacteria and viruses, a uh, variety of essence and size. First of all, we will have uh, two essence and three sizes. Uh, this is really important, affordable prices. Mm -hmm. Another uh, feature is really important, easy to apply and ready to use, ready to use, sorry. And this product can be used in different surface. Um, the materials, that we will use or that we use in in this product is um, a bottle in different size. It could be gallon, a liter, and ounce. The respective cup. This is a cupful. Uh, the cupful for each size of bottle. Uh, stickers for uh, the, the specification, the printing specification to the product. Water, the, um, the quaternary ammonium and the, and the essence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you have any que question, uh, you can ask, but at final. <laughs> okay. Not, not Number, right now. Okay, until yeah. the end. Okay. <laughs> Number four. Uh, list the benefit of building a prototype. First of all, uh, with with the prototype, we make sure the performance of the product uh, allow to detect problems in the product because uh, we try to to 
to make the, the real product in a prototype. Verify the final version of the product and they analyze the product. This is the, the list that we make for, for our product. Thank you. Okay, a big round of applause for the team number one. That was awesome. So you, you even see the pictures, right? Uh, you saw the pictures there. Thank you, Excellent. everybody. So this is the moment for questions or comments, okay? Yes, so. yes, yes, I'm ready. <laughs> No questions. Where I, I can find the quadernole? Ah, <laughs> uh, very nice. You can find in uh, supermarkets, yeah, and you can find the 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 in the Facebook page. You can find it on, on social networks. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You can you can check the the prices, the sizes. And the the, yeah, yeah, it's a real product. You can look, try to find Pro, Proki Lab. Okay, you can find it. Rolando, yeah, yes. What kind of SM do you use for the quaternario? First of all, uh, we try to to improve. Improve is is introducir. What? Improve what? Introduce, introduce, introduce mm -hmm. two, two fragrances, lemon and okay. laban lemon and lavender. Okay. Thank you, Rolando. Are the fragrances natural or or they're um, they're not? Like they're like just chemical fragrances, like synthetic. Uh, uh well, I'm not sure it is synthetic. I think that is synthetic fragrance. Okay. Yeah. Redis has a question. Okay. Go ahead, Fred. What will your company do if your sales goes down? Mm -hmm. If our sales go down, yeah, we can use different uh, marketing ideas, like selling a social network. Uh, buying or purchasing package on Facebook because they have a really good package for marketing. Okay. okay. Excellent. So we continue with, um, let me check. Gustavo has, an, has another question or comment. I, I'm not sure. Yes, I have one question. How you can, or uh, how you can, how you manage the the, competi the competition with uh, against your product? Well, we try to to equal the prices, yeah. And normally, the innovation from the fragrance is a good point adapt to to us, mm -hmm. yeah. Because normally, this product don't have fragrance. Yeah, and don't have a good smell. And actually, there is not any company that sells ammonium with fragrance. Yeah. So they don't have competition okay, right now. Okay, thank you. Right now. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. yet. Okay. Excellent. So, well, I really like the, the, the idea, right? Because it was something really innovative. Uh, and the points that you mentioned about the benefits, the characteristics and everything was complete. So even though it was difficult at the beginning, right, for you, but in the end you managed to do it. And uh, best of all is that you work as a team, okay? I could see that you were working really well in your teams, even though you were not so many uh, today, right? So uh, I think, well, in the end, yes, you were almost complete. So. But but that was really good. And um, thank you so much, guys. We appreciate that. And the breakout room, uh, the members of the team, Roy, Mariela, Diego, Harbin, Jennifer, and Rolando. So we continue with the uh, team number two.
Beatriz, Flor, Gustavo, and Laura. Ready? Yes, Set. I'm going to share a, a screen, teacher. Okay. You are the teacher today. I'm just a student listening and watching. <laughs> Flor? Hi. Okay. Good <laughs> evening, everyone. We are Sunshine. Okay. That you know before we serve different plants, especially cactus and succulents. So. Uh oh. Don't think about these plants. The cactus family. Or cactuses is a fascinating world of bright flowers and spiny stems, ranging from tiny plants to the huge dessert giants. Some features, features, and maybe the more important of these plants are the succulents adapted to dry and dessert-like conditions. Cactus species have spines that protect the plants and minimize surface area for water loss. Cactus flowers are short-lived and provide the primary characteristic that separate cactus from other succulents. Cactus and succulents have different types, formats, colors, and size, so we have too much variety. Since all plants have a life, their own and grown differently. So the easy way that we think to differentiate this product is into ties or two lines. Some plants and chai cha, cha plants. Shade, shade plants. Uh -huh. Shade, shade, shade. Shade, yes. Okay. Some plants and chai plants. The materials that we needed to create a prototype, remember that we sell not just the plant, we sell memories or gift or experience. So we need vari variety. 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 That's a, that's a difficult, a difficult <laughs> word, yes. Variety, I know. Okay. Variety. Very important because all the succulents uh, and cactus are beautiful and we always want to meet new species. Number two, create correct soil for succulents. We call this soil, the soil sub, substrate. Well, substrate. in Spanish, substrato. Yeah. Let's <laughs> say that is substrate, yeah. We will use black air, for example, with some stones and wood, eggshells, and charcoal. And finally, but very important to remember that it's not only the type of succulents that matters when making arrangements, also the containers or spot are really important. So we will use different difference. For example, airworks vessels, glass bakers, glasses, ceramic glasses, cups, and terrariums. What are, and what are earth, earthenware vessels? Vasijas. What? Vasijas. Okay. Got okay. it. And the last, we need also materials to decorate, for example, stones, crystal, color stamp. And what else? Oh, the list of benefits of building a prototype. It allows allows you to detect problems before launching the final version of the product and it allows making changes and improvement to the product before reaching the market. Okay, so those are the benefits of creating a prototype for your product, right? Yes. No question, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> questions, comments. Freddy is the first one. Okay, Freddy, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, question. My question reaction is Reaction for them. Have, reaction for them. Okay. Have you ever think about developing a different kind of plant? Can you repeat the question, Freddy? Uh, do they ever think about selling different kind of plants? Like, not, a, I think. Now all now all the people who like to buy a cactus. So I were thinking about selling roses or different kind of plants. Anybody from the team? I 
I don't hear the question. Can you repeat it, please? The, the cactus and succulents is not only cactus. Uh, cactus is one kind of plant, and succulents is another one with flowers and with different forms. But no, 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 all the plants, this kind of plants have spines. Okay, but Freddy's question is uh, if, if you have considered selling other types of plants, not only cactus and succulents. Yes, sure. yes, we have, but la, like I say at the beginning, the strength that we have are the succulents and cactus, but uh -huh. we sell other plants. So that is your, your top product, right? Yes. Or you have other, other types of plants. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Good question, Freddy's. Anybody okay. else? Thank you, Freddy's. My plants floor. What kinds of plants? Flor. What? What kinds what? of plants, for example? Okay, plants what kind of cactus do you recommend me? Okay, so we have two questions right now. Freddy's, I think that uh, they are going to answer your question through the chat, okay? Please send Freddy's the type of plants that you sell. And Francisco's question is, what kind of plants do you recommend him? What kind of cactus do you yes. recommend him? Uh -huh. Well, it depends that that the most important is what do you want for or where do you want to place your plant? Because we have two lines that is the some plants that the most common is that you had outside your house, for example, in your patio, backyard. patio or yard, backyard, uh -huh. backyard. And the other types are that the shadow shadow plants that you can place for example in your living room in your office in your bathroom so it depends that and i think that it depends that the the side that you have to place your plant for example the, the important is that if you want we can we can give you a little plant that are babies and you can take care of this plant and Regarla, teacher. Put it in water. Yes, and you can see this plant grow out. And that is an important thing. But and I think that, you... that Francisco is, 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 is also asking because he's a, afraid to regarla, but in another way. Like, he doesn't have experience, right? <laughs> so he can <laughs> screw it up. <laughs> no, teacher, but that, that is an at, at advantage of our product because the the plants don't don't need too much care ah. so it's too easy and the the important is that we show you how to how you have to take care of your plant okay but when you buy it no now okay so francisco <laughs> that's your answer <laughs> okay thank you the, plan, the, plan, training. Uh -huh. the plants are almost free maintenance so if you don't have a lot of time, if you don't have a lot of experience, you can have practice. Uh -huh. Doesn't okay. matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Excellent. Rolando, you have a question? I think that the cactus needs some. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh, I, I agree? Not, 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 all. Not, not, all. All. not all. Not all. Not all. Not all. Ah. And because my question is how many times or how many hours near the cactus of the sun, sunlight? Yes, be exposed to the sun. Be exposed to the sun, okay, Beatriz. Hi, maybe if you want a cactus for some, uh, five or six hours per day is okay, but there are some cactus that don't need some. If you mm. don't have time to to do that, I think that is a, a good option to choose. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Miguel. So, sorry, uh, it depends <laughs> of of the the specific the cactus or the succulent because they are alive. 
So they know, for example, if you put in a site that they don't like, maybe the, the, the cactus the don't, don't grow up. So ah. you have to change the place. True. Miguel, you have a question, I think, or comment? Yes, yes, yes I have a question. Um, how much, how much can grow the cactus? Is there a limit for the size? No, of the there, yes. there are species that don't have limit because they depend of I don't know of of themselves. Uh -huh. Environment. Mm -hmm. The conditions. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's thank an you. interesting question. Okay. Well, I have to say that I love plants, so I was really interested in in the idea of selling uh, succulents and uh, cactus. Um, however, I know that it's not so easy, and nowadays, especially because of the pandemic, the idea of selling this kind of plants was very popular, right? Uh, okay, you can see the answer. The, there's a question in the chat, so you can answer it, please. Uh, but I like the, the way that you sold the idea, right? That you're not just selling a plant, you're selling a gift, you're selling a, an experience. So that was really creative. And I think it was easy for your group to work. I saw that you didn't have so many uh, complications to agree on what you had to do. And most of the time you were working only two or three people, so it was, uh, I think that it helped that you didn't have so many ideas to discuss and uh, everybody was paying attention, right? Everybody was working. So congrats to the team number two as well. So is aloe vera, aloe vera, the uh, type of cactus or succulent? Yes, it's, it's the succulents are like the name, the majority name or the general name and cactus are a part of that family. So uh, it, it's a succulent. Okay, excellent. Yes. That's more information. Okay, so um, yeah, it's funny. I mean, cactus can be easy to, to, to raise, but some people are not good even at taking care of them. So, um, Therefore, you can, you can contact Sunshine so they can give you all the information you need. Next one uh, is find your pet. Find your pet. This group has a lot of things to share as well as the last group. So let's go on. Find your pet. Who's going to be the, the presenter? Diana. <laughs> Brenda and me. Okay, okay. Diana and Blanca. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Blanca and me. <laughs> Excellent, Diana. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what's going on. I, last time it was something similar, right? Like somebody got confused. I'm, I don't want to mention, but I think it was Rolando. Okay, so uh, <laughs> now. Uh, Diana and Blanca, go yeah, ahead. Blanca please. is going to start. Okay, perfect. Okay, we don't have a presentation, I think, because we we don't finish to to you well. We talk about we talk a lot about our product, our prototype but we don't have a presentation on as well. Mm -hmm. But, uh, well, I'm going to share just a, an image to talk about our product. Just okay. wait. Me. Okay, that's it. Uh, first of all, we want a, a prototype to to make the find your pet app a, to be a functional app, right? So we want a chip that can be restrated by a satellite signal 
and can be used by an, by an app. The chip is going to have a unique serial number that can be the way to restrict our pet or your pet. To track. Okay. Yeah, to track, yeah, sorry. To track, yeah. Uh, first of all, we need uh, to create the prototype and that will be a necklace. And the materials are going to be a polypropylene necklace, a silicone chip, uh, that is the chip we, we're going to use to always restriate our pet. Track. Uh, sorry? To track your pet. Ah, tra track, sorry, 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 I always forget. Okay, uh, recharging lithium battery, and we going to need the app. The app don't have materials, but it's going to be uh, functionally, I think, uh, to to introduce all the data that we going to use to track our pet. Okay, Diana going to share the list of of benefits uh, to create a product. Uh, okay, the benefits um, for doing a prototype is a greater user satisfaction with the final right. product because customers are actively involved during a prototyping and creation process. Um, and the second one, the second one, the second benefit is saving in time and money because prototyping generates early feedback from customers. It is possible to make changes quickly and at a low, a low cost. And the number three, avoid, avoid discussion, discussions and rework in the equipment. When you, when we have the insights validated by the users, um, the, spa the space for different opinions between the team members is re reduc reduc reduced, reduced. reduced, and it allows to have a least, a at least a clear vision of the results. Uh, also ensure and optimize the, the, the operations. And most important, the user. We are going to have a happy customers and because the experience is satisfactory with with the product, with the final product. Okay, there you go. Reactions for them, please. Excellent. Um, what everybody likes, questions or comments? Redis, <laughs> you're the first one, go ahead. Yeah, have you ever think that what happened if the, the leak or the, whatever you implemented for the, for you could track the pet, let's say, let's say someone steals your pet and uh, the person that steals your pet finds out that you have that Pretty track. The, 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 uh, I can hear very well. Okay, I think I, I think I Is... got, I got the idea, Freddy's. Let me rephrase your question. So, Freddy says that, have you thought about the possibility of what would happen if the person who stole your pet or the person who finds your pet removes the, or takes off the, the in this case, the necklace with the, with the, let's say with the tracker, right? What would, what would happen? Have you considered that? That maybe they will remove the, the tracker and, it will be impossible to find the pet. Uh, it's it, the the well, 
Yeah, but the the the, the necklace is very looks very common. It mm. doesn't look like something suspicious for for the the stoller. And it, and it's not like oh it looks like a GPS and we have to remove it because the the, the owner right. Mm -hmm. So we we thought in in designs very very uh, I don't know how do you say. Uh, Can I am, don't call the attention like que sean it's muy obvious. Very, very, it's really that, common. Yeah. yeah that, that. That. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I come to the remove, uh, this gadget send the message to to the cell phone. Ah. Okay. Yeah. That's it's important. It's similar to alerts. Uh -huh. So you receive an alert in your cell phone if the necklace was removed. Okay, that's really yes. good. So you... yeah. um, when someone steals, can... they take it off the necklace because they, they, they will think that someone will recognize the pen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, very good question and good answers. Okay. And if the necklace is removed, we can track the last ubication last uh, that it's it's registered in the necklace Got so it. that's going to be to uh, a clue oh what the first best. question is 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 really interesting what is the maximum distance that where you can track the you see limit the distance because yeah. we use this this satellite signal Ah, signal, signal. So yeah. you use the satellite signal. We, Got it. we thought okay. we thought about that uh, because there be a, a a lot of of device that only works with Bluetooth or something like that or Wi-Fi, I think. Mm -hmm. But when your pet isn't close to you, you you have to search. I don't know in another neighborhood, I think. And we, we thought about that and we need a solution for that. So we think mm -hmm. about a uh, use a uh, satellite signal because that can be restrained in anywhere okay. with the satellite. With the satellite help. Yeah. Okay, got I, it. I have one question. Uh, okay, before Gustavo, we're going to listen to Rolando who raised his hand. And then we go with Gustavo, okay? Okay, I have a question. What kind of energy use the necklace? Okay, so this is connected to the question that you see in the chat by Flor, right? So what kind of uh, energy or battery is used? Like, it, does it have a limit? Do they have- Well, one of the, what? yeah, one of the materials, it's a recharging lithium battery. And is we we have to recharge in uh, when the battery is low. The app it's going to uh, give you a not notification if he, if the battery it's a uh, has a low power. I think, uh, and you have to recharge in. Okay, yeah. excellent. Uh, but regularly, how 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 much does it last? 12 hours, 24 a hours, week. one week. Wow, that's super powerful. I need that for myself. Wow. Okay, Gustavo, <laughs> excellent, thank you. This was, this was my, my question. Your question too, okay. About, about so, the, the battery. Awesome. The best product ever. <laughs> best product uh, if, you, if you think, think about that, uh, your cell phone is a, uh, well, you lost a lot of battery because you used it a lot. And the chip, it's only used with the with the tracking, I think, or, or, or with the satellite. So but, you don't use a lot of applications or something like that. And, and that's a, the GPS. That's the way that the battery uh, can 
during a long time. But the GPS is the, the app that consuming a lot of battery in the phones or or our tablets is, is the app uh, that most uh, consume the battery. The spend, GPS. spend, spend, spend that. Spend, spend, spend. Have okay. you ever tried to use your phone even with the GPS turned on? That's a question. Yes, <laughs> uh, my, my phone is on a stay uh, two days without charge and without use. Okay, excellent. So yes, this is a new battery. This is from Russia and China. It's a combination of the two countries. It's nuclear. It's a nuclear, yeah. They use that for the space. Ship. It's from no, 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 no. It's, it's from it Mars. Because it can be dangerous for the pets. <laughs> nah, you no, we're just kidding. We're just kidding. So, guys, another ga galaxy. It's from our galaxy. Okay, so because of time, we're going to stop here with the, with your presentation and your questions. So, congratulations! It was a really creative idea, and I think that it would be good that they had something like that. And you have the first customer in the chat. Okay, I think Flor wants to. So thank you so much and congratulations. So we go on with the last group, another list. That is the pet lovers. So ready, go. Ready, set, go. Good evening. Hi. Hello, go good evening. Uh, can everyone hear me? Yes. 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 yes, 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 we can. Okay, our app is called Pets Lover. What the app does, the app helps you to organize the, your pet's information like birthdays, uh, pet controls, favorite food, and allergies. Also, no matter if you are a family with pets or professional groomer or member of animals, welfare organizations, the, the app is made just for you. Our features, our main features of the apps is handling notifications that will remind you if you need to take your pet to the bed or needs a vaccine, or if you have to take a shower, anything that you need, it will help you to remind. If you have to take a shower, if you have to give your pet a shower. Give your pet a shower, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Well, we will help you too if you want. If you want to add it, <laughs> <laughs> that would be good, right? Like for yeah. another another business idea. <laughs> okay, continue. Sorry, I was just kidding. You could add um, your pet's life history at it, like pictures, uh, like and anything special that happened to to you with your pet, like a memory. You could track you could track events in your pet's life, like walks, injuries, weights, trainings, group events for different categories, healthcare, washings, walking, and you can add your own category. Let me see what else. I'm sorry. Uh, details about each pet. Like most different people have different kind of pets. Let's like an example, like like my person. I don't have just one kind of pet. I have dogs, <laughs> belly ways. So it's like the absolute it will helps you in any kind of space and not it's not just for one. Yeah. Okay. To create a photo album. You could print the summary events or help appointments, weight, training. It records and, sh and charge your pets waste over time. Keep track of appointment by setting a reminder. Set a, re a repeat for multiple events like medications and set reminders. Instantly see our coming reminders for the next day, week, month, or year. Our training events are in log scores and success. 
at cost of each event to keep track of your spending on your pets. This displays a cost of summary charts and list of each pets. List for each pet. A cloud database options. Say backup of a cloud subscription features, cloud backups and restore subscription features, create, create a custom icons. You can see there. And, and that's all for the features. features. Yeah. That's a lot of features. That's a lot of features. <laughs> and then for the materials we thought we need, First, we have to already have the goal we want to set with the app. And as Freddie say, we want to do we want to do a lot about uh, our pet information. And for that, uh, uh, we need that goal. Uh, then we need to build an app wireframe. And this is like an, a sketch of how we want all the app to function, to function. Like these fears, um, this fear, this fear, um, how this called? Uh, wait a second. And the uh, beta. No. No. Uh, how the interface of the app mm -hmm. works, like the first page, and mm -hmm. we click the the a summary, then it takes us to another page. This from is that. Uh, how all the different part of the app works. Yeah. And we need to design that as an as an image, a digital, a digital sketch. But this is the first thing we need to make sure what we need to make a, a first model. This is just like the image. And we then we thought we need to uh, have a server to run the data, make sure we have all the money resource we need. Maybe it's not a lot. But consider how many we need for here we have two options. Hire a development team to make the app, or maybe in a first instance to make a first model, make use of an app building software that help us with what we need to delineate our servers, APIs, and data diagrams. Uh, for your information, the APIs are the application programming interface. What? We really don't know nothing about how to program that. <laughs> and for that, uh, an app can help us in the thing is in the first instance. And what we and when we got uh, that first uh, image of an app, we can contract then a development team to to help uh, 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 developing in a better way the app. Mm -hmm. And for we thought maybe hiring uh, some designers to help with the interface and some details in the logo and things are also needed to okay. make a first uh, development. And, and the finally, benefits. the benefits. So, Jackie. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Thank you. Well, some of benefits for creating a prototype. Uh, in this case, or the app, we have uh, this one. Number one, mobile app prototyping validates an early concept and provides opportunities for the exploration of new ideas early. Number two, it helps eliminate misunderstanding and miscommunications during the development process. Uh, three, helps identify possible improvements to make before the product uh, it's complete, discover early design problems, determine final functions and designs, discover bugs in the app functionality, reduce time and cost, and the last one improves the quality of requirements and specifications provided to customers. Wow. That's all. Okay, Thank that's you. determine, determine the final functions and designs. Okay, so those are all the benefits that they consider for their prototype, right? So the most important. 
the most important one. There are more, of course. Okay, so a big round of applause for them, please. Excellent, thank you so much, uh, pet lovers. I think that we have a lot of information to ask questions about. So I think that Rolando raised his hand first, so go ahead. Uh, this is, it's a question. This is a veter veterinary app? It's yeah. for everyone use They A veterinary can use it. Uh, me or you can use it too. It can help right. everybody in the end. Mm. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. And um, uh, what is the, the method that, okay, no, no, I will change the question. You have to open the, 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 the app for check uh, every item that you mentioned yeah, in your presentation. Yeah, you have to open the app, but, but if, you, if you already had a reminder, it will remind you exactly the time and the date that you need to do something with your pet. Mm. Even if you're a, a vet or a groomer, a groomer is like a person that, that will, where you take to get your pet a haircut or the nails. nails or showers. Mm -hmm. like but a pet, but like suppose, a pet. suppose that I, that I, that I uh, lose my cell phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I need to, to know this information because I remember that today I have to do something with my pet. But I want to know how yeah. what is what is the way that I that I can check this information. Yeah, in, in you, that, have, you have to write it on the paper. I can receive an, an email. <laughs> For that, uh, we we in the future we already said we have some store in the cloud. So if you lose your cell phone, but you have your own account, you can use another cell phone to, and that's the uh, the uh, weakness maybe because it only work on mobile devices. Not it doesn't have a, a, a web and and. We are still didn't thinking about a website, um, a website right? Uh -huh. But if you pay the subscription, this is <laughs> this is how we want to make money. If you pay the subscription, you if you lose your cell phone uh, or you lose all the data, uh, you can restore it with the with the with the use of the cloud. Because for that we have the servers to store this this information, but as the server are not uh, cheap, uh, we need to uh, we need to um, charge charge that 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 That's to good. you. Uh -huh. Okay, got it. Excellent. Thank you okay, so much. Thank you. I think Diego has a question. Uh, what is the main function of your app? The main function yeah. is uh, the most important. The most important, mm -hmm. like uh, for the first and the idea start with having an app to track all your pet's information, your pet's uh, events in her life, and have all that information at your one place. In what place and ready to see in any moment you you need it at your reach, right? Okay, at have the information have the information handy. Okay, Andy. a la mano, right? A la mano. Okay. Excellent. So, um, Diana is asking about how much it is. And Francisco and Blanca have questions or comments, I think. To the yeah, class. I'm going to ask uh, how do you perceive the, the, the money? Uh, for that, uh, the app is free in, to start. The app, you can have almost all the features uh, free. We only charge uh, the subscription feature, mm -hmm. only that. But we also are thinking if you don't buy the subscription, we can use some uh, some ads, like some banners in the in the below in below or uh, something tiny that doesn't bother so you, any much. <laughs> got it, got it. That's a good way to make money. Francisco, question. Yes. I see a big opportunity in, in your project, Roberto. <laughs> okay, because that's a comment, 
Very good. B because if I am a farmer, I want to uh, age uh, product for each animal, for example, right. or this, or this uh, app is only for cat and pet, or it's, we can use for whatever animal, for example, cup, horse, it's um, elephants. Elephant, it's yes. for any kind of animals. Uh, at the end, you just have to put all the information you right now and all the information you get little by little can, from the you time. Can, you can even use it for people, probably. Also, <laughs> if you want. <laughs> It reminds you <laughs> the girlfriend like, and boyfriend. And you say like, I have like five children and I forget that I have to take uh maybe yeah. So it's an, it's another possibility, right? So it's another possibility. How, how much is the app? There how is, much for free, right? As you said, that's the, the answer for, for the for the end. Yeah. Okay, oh, the and then uh Miguel has a question. Ah, for the subscription, how much is it? Uh-huh. Uh, for the subscription. In to start, because we didn't really have a measure how is the cost of the servers to run and how we need to, to make it to that. But to start, uh, five dollars to stop all the ads and have all the uh, all of the subscription features. Five dollars per month. Five dollars per month. That's right. Okay. Okay. It's. I think it's it's fair. Okay, uh, Miguel, what is the question? We finished with Miguel's question, by the okay, way. Okay, thank you, thank you. Well, I get the, the apps is interesting, but my question is how many pets uh, I can use with this app? That's a valid Only. question. <laughs> we were thinking uh, unlimited, but as you say, if there is so many pets, we may charge <laughs> like like a hundred pets more. We charge that maybe, maybe three okay. for free, more than three. Okay, no, yeah, uh, you have to discuss that. that. That's an idea. Sorry. We have to discuss about. No, that was uh, a good question because they hadn't con they hadn't they were not. So we sure haven't about considered that. that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. So you see, that is the benefit of a prototyping, right? That customers can get, can come up with comments or questions, and you are like, hey, we didn't think about that, right? So excellent. Thank you so much. A big round of applause for everybody. I love the amount of information that you prepare in your in your team, guys. This app seems to be amazing. Okay. <laughs> and I wish that all of this came true, right? But as some say, right? Uh, sometimes we need some extra materials and that's a little complicated, but but I, I, I think that it, it's a great idea. I'm not sure if there's something similar. Probably there is something similar in the market, but uh, you can always add some extra elements. Now, I'm going to um, just share the final um, time for the final time the screen with you. Uh, so basically, just I just want you to pay attention to this conversation here because tomorrow we're going to practice it. So I just need you to familiarize with it, right? Uh, it's a conversation they have the three managers, right? In a meeting to discuss the production process of a new shampoo. So um, read the conversation and take turns practicing. That's what you're going to do tomorrow. But I need you to be ready to, to use or to say any of the, of the, of the lines, right? Any of the scripts. So um, I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point, Greg. Martha, would you mind telling us if the cost uh, to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. So it's a simple conversation with not a lot of uh, 
let's say this is a Salvadorian English that I that I use, a rebuscated, a rebuscated vocabulary. So it's not really uh, sophisticated or hard words, right? Now, that are not so common to use. Um, so it's something common, easy that won't be so complicated. If you have doubts, obviously you can use a dictionary, right, to listen to the pronunciation or to look for the definition or translation, if that's the case. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to be listening to different people, not in the breakout rooms. We're going to listen to you here, right, in the plenary session. And uh, we're going to be discussing these questions in the breakout rooms. So uh, that will be all for today. I am going to stop the sharing. And I am going to check who's still here. <laughs> okay, um, the first one, Beatriz. I'm here. Mariela. By Listen. the way, before I forget, uh, I wanted to know if Francisco, <laughs> if you, bless you, if you could stay for the last 10 minutes, if it's possible yeah. for you. Yes, okay, perfect. So Juan Jose will go tomorrow. Okay. okay. Perfect. So we continue with the next person in the list is Blanca. I'm here. Mariela, she's here, right? Present, yes. Okay. Uh, Brenda, Diana. Present. Diego. Present. Flor. Present. Francisco. Present, teacher. Redis. I'm here. Laura. Present teacher. Ahora sí está. Jackie. Yes. Arvin. I'm here. Present teacher. Jennifer. I'm here teacher. I'm getting excited right now. Juan Jose. I'm here. Gustavo. Gustavo. Tell me you're still there. Yes. No. Gustavo. Maybe it's listening to a Metallica concert. Okay, we're going to continue with uh, Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Fabio. I'm here. Orlando. I'm here. Yanari. I'm here, teacher. And we don't have um, Roxana today. So we got almost the full house. Okay, so everybody, um, thank you so much uh, for coming. I, it was so great to hear you presenting and also working in the, in the breakout rooms. Um, so we're done with that. That's all that we needed for today's session. Uh, if you have any other questions or Doubts, remember that tomorrow is the Talking Tuesday. That means that we are going to have a, more opportunities to practice speaking. Okay, so be ready. And on Wednesday, as we are finishing the week number four, we are going to have the group picture, right? So don't forget to, to have your camera ready, okay? And your favorite outfit, well, your favorite shirt or blouse, because that's all that we can see online. Okay, <laughs> so um, let's see. No questions, no comments. Thank you so much. Have an amazing night and a great, great week. Okay, God bless you all, guys. Take bye care bye. of yourself. Bye bye. 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 Bye. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Goodbye, Gustavo and Janari. Here we are. Okay. Teacher. Hello. I would like to review the contract um, phrase. I I don't know clear this part. Is possible? Uh, what? Uh, 
we see uh, in lesson 1.5. Mm -hmm. uh, Online contract... on, the, on the pan on the yes on the platform. Yes, and in the platform. Okay. Let me check it out. Oh, I didn't share the winners. I mean, the finalists of the spelling. Mm -hmm. They they were uh, Beatriz, Diana, Flor, Freddy's, and Janari. So I will tell them in the WhatsApp group probably. <laughs> okay, so you said that is uh, one point five, right? Yes. Okay. Just give me a second. I I try to fill fill it out. You try to what? Fill, llenar. Ah, uh, fill out. Yeah. Fill fill out, but uh, is show is she's showing uh. I issue. Really? Yes. Can I share the, the screenshot? Sure. Okay. Give me a second, I will check. Okay, I see it now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh -huh. uh, for singing two songs, uh, but the, you didn't write the complete sentence, right? The yes. performance did a dance, period. You are missing the period, I think, at the end of the sentence. No, at the end, at the end. The period. After dance. <clears throat> Period. No, no, this is okay. Don't change it. Uh -huh. So when you finish the sentence, you have to add a period, a point. Yes. At uh, the end. No. no, at the end, not a comma. I'm talking about the period. When you finish the in, sentence, in, period. In, in the last. Uh huh. There. Uh huh. Correct. Oh. Um... Number three. Number three. While I went in college, I uh -huh, go to the to the end. I stay. Ah, uh, no, this is not correct. Is I stayed in the past. Stayed. No, stayed is why. No, it's in the same way. You don't have to change that. It's similar in the to the sentence at the at the top. Ed no. Ed. Oh no. Why ed? Why ed? The letter Y is missing there. Why? Ed. Ed. Uh huh. Continue. Stay with my roommates. Uh huh. Continue. Family during during one spring spring break period. Break. Okay. The last number four. When she's working at home. Okay. So in this case, we need to follow the rules. So Carla and she are the same person. So we eliminate the subject. She. We eliminate the verb be, is, mm -hmm. one more space, what, one less. No, eliminate two spaces. Okay. okay. There. When working at home, uh -huh, continue. Carla. Carla. Takes care. 
No, it takes her youngest, uh -huh, it takes her youngest child to school in the morning. In the morning. Okay. Period. Very good. Continue. Go scroll down, please. Although, in this case, he and Jack are the same person, so you eliminate the subject, he. And the verb be. And the verb be, exactly. One more space, one less, uh -huh, there you go. Although hurt, Jack managed to One. smile, period. Check it out now. While oh, I'm in yes. college. So it's one problem with the number three. Let's check. While away in college. Uh, I'll continue. Seems that it's okay. I stayed with my roommates. Or is Without apostrophe or comma. No, apostrophe is okay. Continue. Okay. Family. During. During. One spring. Break. 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 Okay, so what is the problem here? Go to the beginning of the sentence, please. Okay. Do I always in the college? Is go the comma? Yeah, the comma is in this place. Uh -huh. Roommates, I mean, during one spring break. I mean, it seems it seems okay. So I don't know what the problem might be. I don't know, in college. Yeah, everything is okay. So there might be a problem with something else. Maybe it's um. Uh, mm, the type of apostrophe that you have, I don't know. This? No, but it seems like a normal apostrophe, so it should... Yes, because it's... It's... Oh, it's showing, or showing. Okay, let me check in my computer. So that is 1.5. Up, wait up. Give me one. So that that was the doubt that you have, right? About the exercise one point five. Yes. Well, well in college, I stayed. I think it's the apostrophe. Um, can you try uh, using another symbol? For example, the one that is next to the number zero. Mm -hmm. Okay, eliminate this and use cha -cha -cha -cha. next to zero. Press the key that is next to zero. No. This. Wait a second. I'm going to share the word through the 
chat with you, so you just mm -hmm. copy and paste. Oh, okay, okay. Because I think it's a symbol. The symbol okay. might be the problem. And okay, there you have it. Because because the apostrophe is like a straight line down, on mm. and yours looks like a little comma. Okay. So probably it doesn't rec the, the the platform doesn't recognize that symbol that apo oh, that type of apostrophe. Uh -huh. Okay, check now. Fine. No, no work, work. Doesn't work. That's strange because I did uh, and it worked. While at Welly College, I stayed with my roommate's family during one spring break. Well, let's do the last try. Erase everything. Mm -hmm. Erase everything, delete it. Erase all the answers. All, all the answers. Yeah. Okay, now copy the text and paste it there. Can you see here? In the chat, I, I share the answer. Ah, okay, okay, okay. It's the same that you have, but yes. in, in my computer it worked. So mm. copy the one that I shared with you. Yes, I I, I, I sent in the chat. And, and paste it in. I mean, copy the answer that I shared with you and paste it over there. Ah, ah okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. So if, if it is a technical problem, I'm going to report it tomorrow. Yes. That's strange. Okay, man. Yes. Um, that's really, really strange. I don't know what happened. Because I see that you have the same okay. answer as me. Uh -huh. So. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same. It, it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but well now you 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 we fix it. Okay, we fix it. Okay, okay. So now you get a ten. <laughs> Very okay, kind so do, you, do you have any other doubt? No, no, only that? only. Okay. Yes, perfect. the the whole question uh, I fill out. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for staying. It was nice to see you. And I hope that you can connect Thank to you, tomorrow's teacher. class too, okay? Keep okay. practicing, keep practicing. Yes. Okay, the yes. conversation for tomorrow. Okay. okay. Very well, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. See you tomorrow, man. See you tomorrow, teacher.